What's up, basketball fans? Great to be here in Chicago for World Star Weekend, I mean All-Star Weekend. Besides the game, there's a three-point shootout, we got the slam dunk contest, and the rookie challenge, all of which are taking place in Tiffany's hotel room. Hey! Got plenty of space, plenty of space. Give it up for our guests of honor, the four hosts of Inside the NBA, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, the other black guy, and the guy who's dressed for an impeachment. All right, in case you don't know these guys, Shaq is best known for missing free throws. Charles Barkley is best known for missing court dates. Kenny Smith is best known for knowing Charles Barkley. And Ernie Johnson is best known as the assistant coach of the Quidditch team at Hogwarts. <laughs> Congrats on a great season, coach. <laughs> Shaq, you and me, we've been friends a long time. I've been following your legendary career. There's nobody like you in the world, Shaq. You, sir, are an anomaly. But don't ever quote me on that, because nobody wants to hear you say anomaly. <laughs> it wasn't easy for young Shaq growing up. He had a lot of trouble in school, mostly getting in and out of the desks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little Shaquille, always running out of lunch money at breakfast. <laughs> it was a tough childhood, but Shaq, you managed to develop a good sense of humor, even though the kids teased you for wearing your book bag as a fanny pack. <laughs> But it was on the playground where you became Shaq and discovered your true passion, men's gymnastics. But after the swing set collapsed, your mom signed you up for basketball and the rest is history. Face it, Shaq, you are gigantic. That suit is bigger than the one against Harvey Weinstein. Mr. Barkley, I love you. How many Charles Barkley fans in here tonight? All right. Charles Barkley looks like he puts his whole mouth over the drinking fountain. But folks, when the great Charles Barkley speaks, he keeps it real. He doesn't sugarcoat anything except his breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Charles Barkley only agreed to be in the movie Space Jam because he thought it was about jelly that was out of this world. <laughs> Growing up, I loved basketball, but I was never very good at it. Kenny Smith, you can relate, right? Well, Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith. Sounds like a name Charles Barkley gives to the cops. <laughs> yeah, I'm Kenny Smith. <laughs> Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith. Sounds like Shaq trying to say Kimmy Schmidt. Actually, Kenny Smith played on the same college team as Michael Jordan. And that's where the comparison ends. You're a cool guy, Kenny. But your eyebrows are a metaphor for your playing career. They start out strong, but then they retire early. <laughs> the very funny Lily Singh is here. Any fan of Lily's new late night show? Cool. Lily is a big Raptors fan, and my pal JB looks like their mascot. <laughs> Great to see you, pal. Great to see you. <laughs> By 
by the way, Tiffany isn't just a comedian and a movie star. She also wrote a great book, Shaq. A book is... <laughs> it's like paper talking <laughs> that you hear with your eyes. This was fun. I feel like us basketball fans needed a laugh right now. So thank you for inviting me to the party. Now, now everyone, make some noise if you're going to get turned up for All-Star Game this weekend. Yeah. I love you all. Thank you very much.